continually dying, maybe you're looking to grind those highest ranks in Apex, or you're just looking for a legend with a lot of power and viability, well then you are in the right spot as the Toxic Trapper can be a wildly good legend if mastered properly. His gas is what makes him so unique, and both his tactical gas traps and ultimate gas grenade are stellar abilities to deter enemies from engaging. Even if those enemies do decide to fight in the gas, the gas is going to stop them from sprinting, obstruct their vision, and even let Caustic see those highlighted enemies in his gas, much like a digital threat optic. Not to mention, Caustic is a fortified legend, meaning he takes 15% less damage at the cost of a slightly larger hitbox. And also, all that gas does health damage, starting at 5 damage per tick, and then it works its way up 1 point of damage every two ticks, meaning the longer enemies bathe in that gas, the more deadly it becomes. Caustic's abilities have been tweaked a ton over the years, and I don't think he's going to change much, but check out my pinned comment down below for any changes to Caustic since the launch of this video. I don't expect much more to change, but I will let you know down there if this video is no longer relevant and how he is doing in the meta. Caustic's tactical gas trap is going to be one of those abilities that excels in a defensive play style, so if you are looking for this, then you're absolutely choosing the right legend and ability. However, the traps are not exclusive for defensive play styles, and they can be used aggressively as well. Caustic's traps activate when an enemy comes in contact or within the range of that trap, or a trap is shot by players, and this could be yourself, teammates, or even enemies. Up to six total traps can be placed, but if a seventh is placed on the ground, the first one is going to go away. The traps can easily be destroyed while they are inflating just by shooting it or shooting the base of an already placed trap. This makes placement of his traps a critical part, and this is what will absolutely separate your average caustic from a great one. And it's also worth mentioning that now an already activated gas trap can still be destroyed by dealing 150 damage to it, and the gas will still linger for a couple seconds after that trap is destroyed. If a trap is able to stay activated, it's going to run for a total of 11 seconds before it does go away. Since traps automatically activate when enemies do come in range, an emphasis on placing the traps out of sight lines cannot be stressed enough. Great places to put the traps are directly behind doors, around doors, behind rocks, trees, under ledges, top of zip lines, and a lot more. Anywhere you do place a trap, it needs to be in a spot that enemies are going to walk up to, and they will not be able to see the trap till it is too late. Door trap placement is the bread and butter of Caustic, and utilizing buildings need to be done as often as possible. If buildings are not available for Caustic to fortify up in, choke points or more closed off areas are a viable second and third option. Anywhere more open is an absolute must avoid for Caustic, and because of this, rotations and positioning of the terrain and buildings are arguably the most important part of a caustic success in game. The basic way to defend an area is to throw caustic traps directly on closed doors. This is going to prevent the door from being opened unless it is kicked down. If the door is broken, the trap is going to then activate it and it's still going to keep enemies away or they will just have to take the gas damage trying to push through. It's paramount for Caustic to still remain relatively close to the traps so he can take advantage of any enemy players being in the gas. It's also very easy for Caustic to tell when an enemy player activates a trap as the gas trap is going to glow through the walls and you will also be able to see enemies taking ticks of damage. Caustic should still try to remain relatively close to his traps as now enemies can pretty quickly discard the traps by shooting it if they do have to. Dropping a gas trap more or less just gives you a fourth person in your party looking out for you and watching your back. You can also drop a gas trap slightly offset from doors. This will cause the door to partially open for the trap and it will activate. The great thing with this method is that it will allow you to more readily tell if an enemy is on that doorway. This method is really only useful though if you have a doorway that is slightly further away and you maybe want that little extra intel to know if someone is approaching from behind or an alternate angle that you aren't watching. Trapping next to or to the side of doors is also a viable strategy. If it's a double door though, be mindful of traps being placed too close to the sidewall. If a door opens, a trap will not activate due to the actual door covering up the trap. This can be a huge issue as it will let enemies walk into the building area without activating the trap or that trap will activate so late that it won't really matter. Try to place the trap slightly offset from the door or wall so it can activate. On a single doorway, if possible, and if the space allows it, drop the trap on the side of the door 
where the door opens so the physical door is not blocking the trap and the trap will activate right as an enemy player tries to enter. Traps off to the side of doors are a great way to be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more baity to have enemies push into your area while placing traps right on doors is a really great way to fortify up and really deter anyone from trying to push you. If you do quickly need to move on after setting the traps down, you can simply pick up or deactivate the traps and this will let you get the gas trap charges back. This is worth doing if you push one area and realize that you need to move again pretty rapidly. Since Caustic excels in and around buildings, doors can really be used to quickly create barriers while any player can run behind a door block it and heal up while an enemy is on the other side. A great thing Caustic can do is to do this, but to also drop a trap directly on that door. This can let you continue to gain separation while the enemy has to deal with that door and then even your trap. Sometimes completely fortifying is worthwhile and necessary, but other times you may want to consider specifically not trapping a door or a choke point. This will create a funnel or a point of alleged weakness that enemies will think they can utilize. The thing with this strategy is that you can more or less be ready for them to walk through the one spot or doorway that is not directly fortified with a trap. If you can, place traps strategically so they create chain of activations. Basically, if an enemy walks into a trap, it activates and then they continue to try to push through that area to get out of the trap. However, at that moment, they walk into another trap and then another trap, keeping the damage ticks going higher and higher and giving you more time to knock them dead. The second method of trap chaining is simply by placing down another trap right on that trap that is already going off. This will continually allow you to cover an area for quite some time if you do this properly. This is very good in slowing players and allowing you and the squad to reset a fight that might have been going badly. This is a great thing to do if you also want to get a revive off, but just in general, dropping and activating a gas trap next to a knocked player is going to provide you with some visual and audio cover. Visual clutter from the trap isn't the only benefit though. The physical trap can be used for cover. It's a free 150 damage protection and if an enemy is pushing you or if you are trying to get some heals off in the open, utilize the traps for this. You can bait enemies into destroying your traps which will then waste part of their magazines and then you can make a counterplay when they need a reload. There's just so many ways to use traps defensively but if you are trying to make an advancement or a push, Caustic needs to always drop traps down when he gets to an area and is about to fight enemies. This is going to create a safety net for yourself and the team that you can retreat back to and it also lets you play with some bonus cover, damage to enemies, or slow them down if you do get aggressively pushed. And of course, if you do need to move on, you can simply just pick the traps up, so why not just place them down? Don't be lazy. The traps are all about being as creative as possible, but maybe you are looking for something a bit more aggressive or maybe you need to make that big play being flexible is an absolute must in Apex, and luckily, Caustic's ultimate gas grenade is going to be really insane at this. But if you want another way to excel on the battlefield, you need to grab some Sour Bomb from Glitch Energy, our sponsor for today's video. Glitch Energy has great zero sugar drinks that focus on gamer wellness to give you that boost in focus while also providing you with something that is just delicious to drink. They even have caffeine-free options like Revive. Use code TIMPROVISION for 25% off all your orders. Check out the link in the description for more. Huge thank you to them for supporting the content. If you do really want to master Caustic and take him to the next level, a deep knowledge of Caustic's ultimate is an absolute must. Like Caustic's gas traps, the Nox gas grenade ultimate will also damage enemies and slow their movements, but this time it will last for 15 seconds once it is thrown on the ground, and the gas cloud is much bigger than a singular trap. It also can't be destroyed once activated, like those gas traps. The timer is pretty long at 3 minutes though, so you really gotta take care when you're using it and save it for when you really want to make a big play or you're in a tight bind. The gas grenade has much more range not only in gas area but also with capabilities since you can throw the grenade much further than a trap. Because of this, the grenade is a massive playmaker when it does come to forcing rotations and having players move out from behind cover. Enemies hiding behind something like a rock or in buildings at high ground or even low ground can all be flushed out with this singular ability which makes it a very powerful tool not only to damage enemies with the gas but to also beam them while they are scattering. Waiting for certain opportunities like this can be crucial but sometimes just opening with a throw of the gas grenade on enemies is a great thing to do not only are they going to take damage they will be slowed and it's going to allow for easier shots from yourself and your team you can also simply just drop the gas grenade onto yourself if you are in the open and you are in need of some cover from pushing enemies the gas has a much wider range and it's going to provide more cover to conceal yourself from the damage or just allow you to again revive squad mates in a lot of ways this is very similar to Bangalore smoke but it also 
also does damage. Proper placement of this gas grenade will also force enemies to rotate in ways that are unadvantageous for them, and thus it can be used to funnel players, funneling outside of the ring, flushed into the open, or forcing them to tank massive damage from the gas are all viable strategies. Arguably, this is one of the greatest ways to use the gas grenade during an end game scenario. Of course, having all these tips and tricks are great, but if you cannot utilize them, then what's the point? Master and Cossack does not end at the understanding of his abilities. Maximizing your success on Caustic is all about having enemies push you, which often is not too hard, especially if you're playing pubs. Having enemies push further and deeper into your gas makes them more and more vulnerable, and this is going to allow you to get the leg up, which is our main goal. Mastering Caustic sometimes begins with the understanding of how to counter him. The big one is going to be other Caustics. Definitely be on the lookout for this, as other Caustics are not going to take your gas damage, and they're going to be able to just push you. After this, Revenant Silence can also be pretty brutal as you won't be able to retrap and fortify areas if you are suppressed. And honestly, the other detriment to Caustic is honestly just going to be Caustic himself. Too often, players do push into the open, push out of their buildings, or just leave themselves way too revealed. Caustic requires a ton of patience, so be smart and methodical about your movement. And we've talked a ton about aggressive and defensive Caustic. He still does have support capabilities with the revives, and Caustic should be on the priority list to get the gold backpack. This is only so, though, if you're not with a lifeline or a Gibraltar. Gold Helmet on Caustic is also solid, but a legend like Bloodhound might be a little bit better as Caustic does not always need to get his gas traps back as fast as possible. Both the Gas Grenade and Tactical Trap actually have a pretty decent activation timer and pullout timer from the moment you do press the ability to them actually being useful and activating. Because of this, you should really never use the trap while you're actively getting gunned down in a close range fight. You do want to set up early, but if you are just dropping a trap at the feet of enemies that are gunning you, it's not going to do a lot and you're soon going to be knocked. Legend combos and weaponry are also pretty important as utilizing these in the right way is going to massively enhance your power. Close range weapons are going to be an absolute must. Shotguns are good, but SMGs are also incredible. Players are slowed in your gas, and this is going to make one magging with SMGs a little bit easier. Bangler is a great legend to pair up with Caustic because you can combo the gas trap or gas grenade with the smoke, and this is a combination that is going to be a force to reckon with. They are not going to be able to see where to go while they're in the smoke, and they are going to be taking damage at the same time. Beyond this, though, Bloodhound and Seer for the scans through the gas are always good, and any movement legend is going to match massively help this chunky character get around without taking too much damage. You may also want to consider Fuse and Horizon pair-ups as you can use their ultimate abilities and your gas grenade ultimate for some really interesting plays. Where Caustic ranks in the meta of today is kind of difficult to pinpoint though, because it really depends on your playstyle and even what mode you prefer in Apex. If you are still here though, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I greatly appreciate the support. And if you want to forego playing with those pesky randoms, because no one really likes that, hop into the community discord to find others to play with. You can also chat with myself and the community. Caustic just thrives in sweatier environments. So those that like ranked Apex will absolutely need to consider using him. However, for pubs and casual play, he is a little bit more difficult to be effective with as generally Caustic has a more methodical and slower play style. But regardless of what mode you are playing, Caustic is still going to be great if you are using him appropriately, which does slide him in somewhere around the A tier or on the upper echelon of Legends and Apex. Around top 5 to top 8 is what I would say, but it does depend on your priorities. If you want to improve your skills even further beyond Caustic, I highly recommend you check out this playlist on screen to learn more about all of the Legends and Apex Legends. Happy gaming, Legends.